tell the tape. Uh, David Reza, five years older at 35. Both guys made weight at 125. The height advantage going to David Reza, as long as the reach, only by two inches, but don't know if that'll matter much in this one. Both guys like to fight inside. Let's meet these fighters and go to Wayne. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening preliminary contest brought to you by OnlyFans is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury FC Flyway Division. Introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, four inches tall, and he weighed in at 124.4 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, by way of Accra, Ghana. Today, he makes his professional debut. Here is the Ghanaian Shinobi, Daniel Accra. That's a hell of a nickname. Yeah, that is a nickname. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, seven inches tall, and he weighed in at a perfect 125 pounds. Fighting out of the Woodlands, Texas, he holds a professional record of one win, no losses, one no contest. Here is Hellraiser, David Razor. Yeah, speaking of nicknames, that might be Georgia one of the top. Nation, Patrick Petlon. Like, anytime you can get your nickname to rhyme with your last name, that's yes. pretty damn good. Yes, David Hellraiser. That's perfect. You know it's a nickname he earned because Alex's not just going to give that up to anybody. Oh, no. We've all heard on the broadcast before how Alex feels about nicknames. So that was definitely given to him. Is that how Alex became the greatest white? <laughs> that has to do with a shark, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my mistake there. Both guys coming out kind of measured here, looking to check each other's timing out. A few leg kicks. Yeah, when you see these two guys, Rich, it's hard to believe they weigh 125 pounds or they've ever weighed 125 pounds. But both guys weighed in one half a pound under. But, I mean, these guys look really big for 125ers. Yeah, they definitely look more. And it's, that's a big testament to, like, their gym as well and the ability just to cut that weight, man. It's so difficult. Yeah, beautiful trip there from Danielle, Daniel Gray. Ray, Ray's doing a good job using the, the double underhooks here. Made popular by Charles Oliveira. Man. He does a great job of holding people down from this garbage position. It makes it really hard to strike, too, because you go to posture up and use that double underhook. Yeah, and the double underhook, you know, it, it weakens those arms, too, whenever you're, you're pulling those elbows, you're breaking the plane of the shoulder. And so once that elbow is higher than the shoulder, the arms become very, very weak. And so also, you know, it sets you up to isolate one of those arms if you get the opportunity. I can assure you, David Reza is used to working from the bottom. <laughs> Training over there with Alex. I mean, Ricky Tercios, all those guys. I mean, he's got, he's got a stable of unbelievable guys over there that'll put him through probably a lot more than Daniel can, can dish out. Well, that was quick. Rich is in and out. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us, Rich. Yeah, I was kind of I'm kind of surprised to see this go to the ground. I think it was an opportunity there for Agre just to to get it to the ground. So he took it. Beautiful trip. Got David Reza to his back. Not really doing much from the from the top here. You see him trying those shoulder punches from the top. I mean, they're annoying, but they're not extremely effective. So we'll see all pro prelims. So these are five minute rounds. There's three five minute rounds. Great delivering some shots to the body now. And they're continuing to work. I was wondering how long they would stay on the ground, but they're just doing a good job of staying busy. Referee not making, giving them any looks like he's going to stand them up. He's trying to open his guard and swing his hips out. Great doing a good job of keeping him square. 
That's one of the things you want to do whenever you're on the bottom or on the top is you want to keep them, your opponent square in front of you. If those hips swing outside the body and you get off center line, you're pretty much in, in danger of someone attacking an arm or throwing a leg up for a triangle. There's several things. I mean, you can attack the back. There's arm drags, all kinds of stuff from there. But as long as the hips are staying square directly underneath your hips, really, really difficult uh, to throw any offense up. See David Reza trying to put the feet on the hips. Almost giving up his back here. Well, Gray's got one hook in. He's got both hooks in. Nope, oh, nope. Doesn't have that left hook in. There's a blocking as he as he tried to stick it in there. Gray needs to dig his heel in to that left side between the elbow and the knee. They're able to turn. Razor. And now he's got both hooks in. Razor delivering some punishment there. To Gray on his back. Put a punch right over his shoulder to find the face of Agra. Clap, 10 seconds left in the round. There's not a lot of damage here by Agra, but a dominant positional round. You know, in the guard, doing some damage from the top. David Reza having no answer so far for the top game of Daniel Agri, but here we see that trip. Beautiful trip, outside leg trip, right into side control. Reza able to recover guard, and then he kind of stayed here for a little while. Looked like he tried to put his hips up, tried to get up, but gave up his back. And there, Agri, you know, not really doing anything from the back, was never really in any danger of a submission, but definitely won that first round. So Daniel Agre with the, probably a 10-9 round. Nice round strategy-wise. I think I think everybody thought, including Rich, we heard him say that we thought this was gonna be an exciting fight. We thought this was gonna be, you know, something that stayed on the feet. And both these guys, exciting strikers. And, you know, here we are with a, you know, four minutes of ground time in the first round. Let's see if Reza can recover here in the second round. Ooh, nice right hand by David Reza. Ooh, and here we go. Now Agre on his back. Reza inviting him back to his feet. He invited him back to his feet, but he's got to stand up. He's got to sit back. He's got to give room for the ref to go in between him if he wants to get, get back to his feet. Agre back up. Razor with a one-two there. Agre kind of moving away from him, moving away from the power punch, just like you should. The movement should be toward the jab hand. You never want to move into someone's power hand. Both guys, conventional style fighters. Both guys are going to want to creep to their right to move away from the other's right hand. A little slip there from Agre. Ooh, body shot from David Reza. This is seemingly felt like he was smelling blood there for a second. Felt like he had Agre on the ropes. Agre ties up there on the cage. Ooh, big flurry there from both guys. First David Reza, then Daniel Agre. Flying knee attempt. Agre reached out to grab the cage, but he missed it. But that would have kept him from coming down. Right on the cage door. David Reza trying to get under those legs. Oh, big knee. David Reza's corner, screaming at him to keep his hands high. 
wants him to throw multiple punch combinations. I think they think that with those combinations, they can catch Daniel Agre. But so far, the striking's been fairly equal. I think David Reyes is landing the better of the punches here in the second round. Also stuffing those takedowns. Long jab there from David Hill Reza. Ooh, big knee. Ah, David got a little overzealous throwing the punches. Got tied up by Agre, but able to get the underhook and make some dis distance. There's a switching stances temporarily. Uh, big leg kicks from Daniel Agri. Ooh, big right hand from Reza. I think Reza's got it. I think Agri may be stunned a little bit still. Reza trying to make some distance. Almost that same outside leg trip again from Agre. Raise it right back up to his feet. Agre trying to recover a little bit here. Ooh, big knee on the break there from Reza. Undoubtedly going to be looking for that one-two combination again with that big right hand. Which is the southpaw. Pace starting to slow down just a little bit. See the guys are starting to get a little bit tired. 30 seconds left here in the second round. Big left overhand left there from David Reza. A great continuing to work on those calves. See what kind of toll that takes in the third round. Fifteen seconds here in the second round. David Reza landing a nice combination. And Gray answers with his own combination. Beautiful windmill kick there from David Reza. More for theatrics than anything. It wasn't wasn't close to landing, but nice round there from David Reza. I think he got that one back. I think I think this is one round apiece. First round Agre, and second round David Reza. You see David Reza lands a big right hand right there, and you see Agre. It kind of stunned him a little bit. Here we go. Nice combinations. Reza had a few. Three or four punch combinations land. See a big knee here on the break. Boom, right in the temple. There's that big right hand that almost dropped a gray. Gray landing a couple shots of his own. Very entertaining round in the second round. I think it was a I think that was a, a David Reza round, but one round apiece here in the third round, probably to decide this fight. Here we go. Round three. Both fighters start out with kicks. Reza just needs to keep that pressure and make sure that he's throwing those two, three, four punch combinations. Keep that pressure, and then for Agri, we had all of the success in the first round on the ground. So maybe he'll want to get this to the ground. It is a third round. It's going to be a little more difficult. They're slippery. They're tired. A little more difficult to get the takedown here. But this combination is trying to run down Agri. Takedown. 
Let's see, I think Agri wants this to go to the ground here in the third round. Nice body kick. Goes right underneath the rib cage. And another body kick right above the waistline. with a kick. Nice body shot as Agri lands a left hand. Now kick from Agri followed by a body shot from Razor. Every time Reza gets into his range, now Agri is throwing punches. He's throwing hard overhand lights. Trying to make David Reza think about stepping into the pocket. Ooh, overhand right barely misses there from David Reza. Ooh, nice four punch combination, all hooks. David Razor landing two to the body, two to the head. I think punching a little bit long. David Razor making him miss. Ooh, nice shot landed by both guys there. That may have stunned Razor just a little bit. Hard to tell, but he goes in for the shot, which is usually an indication, especially whenever you're winning those striking matches or those striking exchanges. You to take for to go in for a takedown. That's usually a panic. Maybe Reza makes some space here. About a minute and a half, still kind of undecided. There still needs to be that decisive moment in this round about who's going to win. It's a very close fight so far. Undoubtedly. Razor's corner is going to tell him to sell out here when they reach about the one minute mark. Oh, nice combination there from Agre. Another combination where the right hand landed from Reza. Oh, showing he's got a good chin. Reza's landed some pretty hard shots. Seemingly right on the point, but. He keeps coming forward. Nice little Superman punch there. 45 seconds. Nice head movement, barely missing there. Seeming to turn up the heat a little bit. Reza throwing a four punch combination. Had Agri on the cage. Decided to give him space, but. There's 10 seconds left. Let's see. Agri throwing some wild punches. Taking a few also. Ooh, big punches landed here with five seconds left. Here we go. Wow. That last 10 seconds of the match might have won David Reza this fight. Wow. That is the way, ladies and gentlemen, the last 15 seconds of a fight should look. Both guys just planting their feet. We saw it at UFC 300. Both guys planting their feet. I was waiting for one of them to make the call to come to the center. Neither one of them did it, but they just did it over by the cage. David Reza landing a lot of combinations in this round. Agri landing a lot of combinations also. He was heavy on the leg kicks this round. Beautiful left hand there from Agri. See Agri land right there. David Reza lands also, and then David turns it on here. Agri tries to turn it back and clinch him up, and this is the last 15 seconds. 
And man, really exciting last 10 or 15 seconds. This is very, very close. I mean, this is a 29-28 win for somebody, but very, very close fight, very exciting fight, nice stand-up battle. The last 15 seconds was, was worth every bit of the fight. Unbelievable job by both of these guys and letting it all hang out. It looks like the judges have made a decision. Let's go inside to Wayne Leggett and see what that is. Go, Wayne. Ladies and gentlemen, the, we have gone to the judges for the scorecards. All three judges scored the fight 29-29, declaring this fight a unanimous draw. I'm too wow. fast for y'all, man. A unanimous draw. Very, very rare in MMA, but man, if there was ever a draw, that might have been one. That I, you know, I thought I thought David Reza may have won the second and third, but man, it was just a, a very, very close fight. 29-29, unanimous draw.